monthly update it is officially six months guys look at this kid look at him look at him go show them something star literally just like threw his toy over there i don't know if you guys caught that so much has changed as you can obviously see baby star is growing beautifully he is amazing he is half a year old half a year i can't even believe it guys six months flies by so when people tell you that it goes quick they are not lying mm -hmm. make sure you take lots of pictures lots of videos because you'll never get these moments back let's have so another one <laughs> so let's talk about it let's just give you guys a quick little update he is wild Wild. He's stronger than ever. Who's stronger than ever? Huh? Who's stronger than ever? Show them that you can sit up. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, you're showing off for the camera, are you, huh? You're showing off for the. Where are you trying to crawl to? Huh? Are you trying to crawl to? Okay, we Sorry, can put him in there because <laughs> he's a little too crazy right now. A lot has changed. He's eating more solids now. Honey's been experimenting with a lot more things. She's getting more creative in the kitchen. Yes. So guys, just while we're touching on the solids, it is so overwhelming to be starting to transition your child to solids because it's like, what do you feed them? How much do you feed them? Sometimes you'll make something for him and then you'll heat it up and then they like don't want it, you know? Mm -hmm. So like the times, when to feed him and all that stuff. So it's very really- crucial. Yeah. Very crucial, crucial. So it's very overwhelming. I have been super overwhelmed, but finally I'm getting into kind of like a better routine and I've just went on Pinterest and I found a bunch of little recipes and stuff like that. So do your Googling and whatnot. My advice in terms of that, I would just say, you know, like it takes time. So don't like panic, don't freak out. It's just, it's a learning process. Mm -hmm. So she's getting creative in the kitchen. She's doing curry chickpeas. Cur chick yeah, so we did curry chickpeas. I have another recipe that he really likes. It's kale, pineapple, avocado, banana. I've been making him three ingredient pancakes, those types of things. And like, I'm kind of doing half purees and then half of the lead weaning. If you guys don't know what lead weaning is, Google it. We're just experimenting here. Mm -hmm. And it's going good. There's ups and downs. There's sometimes when we, it is dinner time, we give him food and he's not feeling it and he just wants milk. Yeah. So he wants to go back to what he knows. And so, so that kind of puts it into my mind. Like it's going to be tough to like wean him off of my boob. Yeah. You know, but, so. but it's not, I don't think it'll be that tough because Maybe as long that. as you pump, Oh, you're saying like just getting them off the milk fully? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. But that, and that's another thing. Bull keeps saying, as long as you pump, as long as you pump, but it's like once six months starts, your milk goes downhill, okay? Because your baby's now eating solids, he's not waking up as much, so you're not feeding him as much, so your boob knows, like their boob is like reading your baby. So I'm not producing as much milk, so I started drinking the mother's milk tea. It's kind of working, like I feel like I'm producing a lot more, so I am pumping, but to get that stock going is tough. So if you are watching this and you're pregnant or have a newborn, pump as much as possible and save as much as possible. I wish that I went pump crazy in the beginning, because that's when you're producing the most milk. So he is on the move. He is on the move. He <laughs> is crawling all around. He's doing the army crawl. He's like just about to almost probably get on his knees. He darts from like one side to the other. Like it's crazy. He yeah. turns, yeah. he does like 360s. It's so weird because every single baby is different. He started army crawling at what, five months? Yeah, five, five, and, and, a half. five and a half. Five and a half. And, but he doesn't like roll from his tummy 
to his back. He rolls from his back to his tummy. Mm -hmm. So it's the like the odd time he'll do the the opposite. odd time. Yeah. But it's just so crazy how different how different babies are. So we have a big playpen for him, a play center that definitely helped him with his crawling. So yep. shout out to Whitney for yeah. his, that whole thing. We had to move our coffee table over because he's literally crawling and he'll butt his head on the coffee table he'll butt his head on little things so we have to take like all the little sharp yeah. objects out of the way we're gonna have to like really baby proof and like literally take the coffee table like completely, completely out. out of the living room yes. and maybe shut the office doors or something i don't know guys we have some serious baby proofing to do because yeah. this child is all over the he's place he's literally everywhere he's obsessed with king if you don't oh. know who king is king is the dog so he's he'll dog. see King is our dog. Our dog. <laughs> and <laughs> he'll see King and as soon as he spots King, he'll just boom, start crawling towards him. He's super fascinated. And then he'll try to like touch him and then King will just be like King like is kind <laughs> like he kinda wants he to He knows he's do. a baby though. Yeah. Like you know he so he's not like barking at him or growling, but he'll just like turn and be like, yo, like leave me alone. I'm not trying to play with you. Yeah. Star is fearless, he's not afraid of anything at all i love it <laughs> he's constant rook is over there there's times where it's like he'll come into the bed with us i'll be napping or sleeping and i'll wake up with him literally crawling on me as soon as he wakes up he's literally like on the go trying on to crawl go. like literally as soon as he wakes up yeah he's on it on it he's been sleeping through the night so he'll go down at like what like eight o'clock sometimes 8 30. Yes. he'll wake up at 5 30 a.m every single day so i'll go get him from his crib and i'll bring him into the bed and i'll feed him whatever and then sometimes it takes him a while to go back to bed so he'll be like crawling over the bowl to like go and like lay his head down on his arm. Guys, it's just so cute. He's just getting cuter and cuter by the second. He's like pulling my hair, touching our face, mm -hmm. yelling he's, at us. He's fighting his sleep sometimes at oh, night. Yeah. So he'll do this thing where it's like he's dead tired. It's eight o'clock. He'll go like this. <laughs> then he'll go pop back up. <laughs> he'll go like this. But he thinks it's so funny, so and now it's like a game to him. Yeah, so it's like a peekaboo. So we'll start like playing around with him and he'll smile. Yeah. And then we'll put him in his crib. You'll literally hear him. Like yesterday we were hearing him upstairs in his crib and she was checking the camera and he was doing the same thing in his crib. Like just literally fighting his sleep, waking back up, looking at the camera, talking, talking and then eventually just fell asleep. Yeah. So he's actually really comfortable in his crib now, which is good. He, he has, sleeps on his side. He sleeps on his side. He sleeps on his tummy now. He'll he's start on his side and then he'll roll on his tummy, which yeah. was kind of scary. Like he's not even but. comfortable sleeping on his back at all. No. I was like super stressed out about him sleeping through the night and him being in his crib. Just asking so many questions and questioning Google. When does the baby start sleeping on their tummy? Like things like that. But your baby is like, they're gonna eventually do it, you know? before we kind of started to try the cry it out method, but he would cry for like an hour. I feel like he wasn't like ready to try that method with him. Like I feel like now, if he gets fussy in his crib and we let him cry it out, it would be like for like 15 minutes, he'll just cry and then finally go back to sleep, you know, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I just feel like when they say don't start the cry it out method too early, they mean it because I feel like they're not like developed or like ready to jump into all that. Do you agree with that or? Yeah, I agree with it. Do you? <laughs> I agree with it, yeah. I feel like that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Like now he'll never, he won't cry for an hour. He'll get way too tired. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, um, my point is don't stress out. Guys, your baby is gonna develop beautifully on yeah. his own time, or yeah. her time. He's very demanding. Oh. He's talking. When he's he, not even, it's not even that he's demanding, he's determined. If he wants something, best believe he's gonna get it. He'll, uh, he'll, let, you know, he'll let you know when he wants something. He's grunting, he's making grunts now when he's drinking and stuff. Yeah. He's, and it, yeah. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. And again, that's because my boobs aren't filling up on his time now. So. He's grunting at me, he's pulling on me, it's becoming a lot, and, and now I know why people stop breastfeeding. Yeah. Because it becomes a lot. Now that he's on the solids, he's super fascinated with food. When we're in the kitchen and he's in his bumbo and LR's chopping up food or we're making something, he's literally like looking at the food and drool, drool is like all, literally all over him. 
One of his favorite snacks is yeah. the, the... The rice cracker melt. Yeah. That like dissolve it, in your mouth. You form the cupboard and you just hold that in front of him. He'll stop doing whatever it is he's doing and, and demand for that right away. <laughs> He's also getting whiny. Like, if he gets frustrated, he'll, like, you know, like, make a bunch of sounds. He needs constant entertainment. It's only going to get probably crazier. With getting super strong. So, also, we had a baby bumper in the crib. We had to lower down the crib yeah. a little bit because he was starting to climb up on that. And then Honey was fearing that he might jump out the crib. <laughs> Which he would. Yeah, he might jump out the crib. So, we had to lower it yeah. down and then we put different soothers in different, quarter, in different quarters. Yeah, different now quarters. he doesn't even wake up to the soother because he can just grab it himself and put yeah, it in his mouth. Exactly. But last night I took the bumper out because he was like <laughs> sleeping on the bumper, like using it as a pillow. And I was like, okay, I'm a little nervous. So I took it out and then what time was it? Like three in the morning? Yeah. He was yelling because all his yeah, soothers all his, were all, all on the floor. Literally all his soothers were on the floor at different parts <laughs> of the crib. So he was trying to reach for it in the nighttime and grabbed it and it was popping through the the bars and he was probably getting so mad yeah so the bumper's going back in the bumper's going back in so that's basically it swimming he's, lessons are amazing swimming lessons are amazing he's growing some teeth yep he's teething for he's, sure he's, i find his skin color starting to come into yeah his hair is starting to like all just grow on the sides like yeah. everywhere he was like lacking it's all growing in evenly now he's just amazing he's, he's just amazing. amazing so that's our six month update we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We hope we uh, gave you guys some tips. We gave you guys use. some tips for the new parents out there and the parents to be. And we're gonna be back with another one very soon. All right, guys. Peace, Peace and love. love.